So Jane, either here at Empton House or as a parent, um, how do you, well first of all, how do you teach reading? Well, um, over the years there's been the big debate about should it be look and say or should it be a phonic approach. Um, and I think probably the safest way and the best way is to help children to develop both skills and a, a balance of skills. So if we take the words on the left, um, which are basically phonic words, dog, get, dad, etc. So the child can either um, sound out the word dog, duh, or go, and then put it together as dog, or they might learn the word dog and just see it and know it visually. So there are two methods there, but they are basically regular words that are either recognised or can be sounded out. Um, dyslexics might find that very hard because they forget the sounds that the letters make, and even if they remember the sounds, they can't then put them together. On the right here, we have some irregular words. And of course, if you try and sound those out, you end up with something like k or m e or komi or something like that. So these type of words are best used um, using visual skills. So you do come across children who are very good at phonically reading or decoding words, but don't recognize many irregular words. Um, or um, you get children who um, can um, learn words holistically, uh, visually, but then they can't sound them out or work out what the sounds are within them, and then that begins to affect spelling. And so, okay, so you've talked about reading, but on the spelling side, um, you would, I mean, what would you recommend then? Well, there are many dyslexic children who have trouble even spelling phonetically. So obviously we do a lot of training to help them um, learn to perceive sounds um, Would you use on words. Individual and yes, we use individual word. letters and then practicing putting them together. Um, and, and then for the children who have a very poor visual memory, it's a question of repetition um, and not introducing too many irregular words too quickly. Someone recommended sort of almost painting a word in the sky yeah, in the air, is that nonsense or does that make sense? No, not at all, because it really helps to learn words in a multi-sensory way. That means using as many senses as you can. So you say the word, you hear the word, you paint the word, you bake the word with yeah. dough. Um, as many ways of getting it in using all the senses. And of course we teach touch typing, which is another way of seeing the word and typing the word and hearing the word. And also we don't just work with words out of context. Um, many children find that hard. Of course, we use very carefully selected reading books mm. where they can get the gist from the picture and from the story and from predicting what might happen and getting to know the characters. So they're not actually having to work hard on every single word, which is very tiring. Mm. So how would a parent help a dyslexic child get started with things like reading and writing? Well, if children have good oral language skills, they get off to a good start. So obviously reading to your child yeah. from an early age gives them rich vocabulary and a rich sense of grammar and helps them learn irregular verbs. Because a lot of dyslexics carry on saying the man runned after mm. the dog for many years because they don't remember the irregular word ran. So reading to your child early, playing um, lots of games with sounds, I spy with um, what letters um, words start with, and after that, you can begin to ask them about words beginning with two consonants, such as something beginning with tr that has leaves on it and grows, and you might have climbed a tr. <laughs> yeah. So that's more complex than just asking them. And um, also just maybe labelling things around the house um, with very common words. Um, is it little and often usually what I've heard is the best, but... Yes, little yeah. and often. Um, just even having a, a blackboard where you might just have some very common words on that they um, can read as they're running past, rather than sitting down yeah. and doing homework Feeling when like they're young. Lesson, yeah.